What up guys, Mad here, country song teacher. Now if you've been watching my lessons a while, this is kind of going to be a repeat, but we had a few thousand people each month to the channel, and I have to go back and revisit the very, very, very basics. It's always been my goal and my dream to get as many people all over the world playing guitar. So I want to talk about how to play chords the easy way. And after this lesson, you're going to know three chords, the G, C, and D chord. And if you've if you can share this on your Facebook, your Twitter, your Instagram, whatever it is, and let's get people joining the channel and seeing just how great this instrument is, just how easy it is to play. Now, a lot of people, they think you gotta do all this picking up and down the neck and they see all these little squares, which are called frets, up and down the guitar, and they think, man, it's too confusing and I don't have the coordination, the, the intelligence, the music background, the rhythm, whatever it is. But that is not the case. I've taught thousands and thousands that have learned by each of these squares is called a fret. Lock in the two bottom strings. Let me zoom in here for a close-up. So the third fret, take your ring finger, pinky finger, lock in these two bottom strings. Take your first finger, the fifth string, middle finger, the top string. That's going to be a G chord. And all you're going to do is move these two fingers down, and it's going to be a C. So fifth and sixth is a G, fourth and fifth is a C. So that's the first two chords you're going to learn. One, down one, two. We go back and forth that G and C. Head my wife by the riverside. Doom, boom, 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 write songs, do whatever you want, but learn those two chords. A G that you strum all six, and then a D. I mean a C that you strum the bottom five. All six on a G, bottom five. People say, they write me on Snapchat, emails, Facebooks, all that stuff, 50 times a day. Matt, what is the best place to start? And I'm not just using this as a sales pitch. I say, go get my DVDs. You know, each DVD is 15 bucks or two for 25. It is cheaper than one lesson. And I, I wish I could show you all the feedback I've received. Cheaper than one lesson. And on the DVD, I've zoomed in chapters and show you just the basics. So it's a great gift or whatever. And I'm not just doing it as a sales plug. It's for, like I said, 15 bucks. You can learn 10, 15 lessons or 25, 30 lessons. That would cost you so much more if you had a teacher. And you can rewind and really want to learn at your own pace. So if you're just starting out, trust me, get the DVDs. I promise you'll be glad you did. If you don't like them, send them back. I'll give you money back. Um, so you're first going to G, C, and the, the third chord you're going to learn, keep the bottom two locked, and press the third string, second fret. That's going to be your D, the bottom four. So you're going to work on going from G to C to D. Now watch how cool this is. Once you know those uh, three chords, I'm going to be somebody. One of these days I'm gonna break these chains I'm gonna be... <coughs> Who's my editor? Cut that out. I've had a cold. So, uh, edit that. Cut. Thanks. Uh, if you knew my lessons, you, you'll quickly learn. I'm kind of I'm kind of crazy. But, uh, so it's two G's, two C's, four D's. Go. I'm gonna be some So kind of, I want to get a kind of a pulse on my channel. Please comment below, yes, I can play all three of those chords, or no, I'm still working on it. And, and what you want to do is, as you're learning the chords, uh, I used to tell people all the time, pick, um, <coughs> excuse me, pick down, and see if each string sounds clear, because if you're getting like a dead string, like that, you need to kind of adjust your fingers, maybe get them closer to the fret bar, that kind of thing, until it goes. The C and D. Let me 
go I'm gonna be somebody Two G's One of these two C's D's I'm calling Four D's Break these chains I'm gonna be Can you do that, guys? Let me know. I have to, every now and then, every few months, go back to the basics because I want to bring more people in and say, you can learn this instrument. Don't let it intimidate you. That's your first three chords. Guitar can be easy because, trust me, it works exponentially. At first, your fingers have to get callous. You have to learn rhythm. It's really tough. Once you get it down... those four chords, G, C, D, E minor, I would say learn the track chords. first four chords then Matt McCoy track chords is what I would recommend if you want to uh, uh, check out the DVDs I'll put a link in the description below you can purchase those mm -hmm. um, and that sure help me out I appreciate it but anyway God bless you guys uh, we're probably about to head to Atlanta I'm in Raleigh North Carolina and they say this big hurricane Florence is coming in so it's supposed to be pretty bad so I'll keep everybody in your prayers that they stay safe and the emergency response people and all that stuff because it could be catastrophic we want to keep everybody safe so anyway comment below a, tell me if you can do this, and B, tell me what song you're going to do next, and I'll get on it. God bless each and every one of you. Holla.